Welcome to the video, time for a cheat day. First one I'm making in, I don't even know, it's been over a year and I'm dang excited. I really have no idea what I'm gonna eat today. What we're gonna do is just go to the grocery store and see what I find and go from there. Maybe I'll drive through somewhere. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but it's gonna be a tasty day and I can't wait. I got my squats in this morning, so I burnt a little bit of calories and my appetite's gonna be way higher. And I did a nice little stomach stretch yesterday too, so I could fit in some extra food if needed. But I was gonna do a food challenge, but instead I just decided I'm just gonna eat what I feel like and enjoy probably like three meals of just good food without making myself miserable. So let's get into it. Time to hit the grocery store. I'll do a number six. Uh, yep, I'll do it with the coffee. And then can I get two sausage burritos additionally? Two burritos with a uh, sausage set? Sure. Anything else today? That'll be it. Your total today comes to 13.25, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good to go. Let's go eat. What I ended up finding was some caramel rolls at the grocery store, which I, I couldn't decide between cinnamon rolls, caramel rolls. There was also some like peanut butter frosted cinnamon roll. <sighs> the stress, if you know me, I just stress out about food decisions so badly. We got McDonald's as well. So two sausage burritos, the sausage, egg and cheese McGriddles. So let's be honest, McDonald's is mainly known for, well, their best foods are their McGriddles, hash browns and their fries. That's my opinion. Their burritos are dang good though too. So these are easily my favorite items from McDonald's along with a coffee that'll pair well with the caramel rolls. So let's eat this. This shouldn't be too bad. Should be pretty easy to get down. If I eat the cheese off the wrapper, it's a rule. If you haven't seen one in a while, there you go. Now you've seen one. Mm. I hate how good fast food is. Cause I honestly, I don't remember the last time I had fast food and dang, okay. Mm. That hits the spot on the money. All right, oh man. The tortillas in, on these are trash but the cheese is what gets me. It's just a lot of flavor. I don't know, obviously it's <laughs> garbage fast food, but of course the flavor is on point because MSG more than likely. Mm -hmm. I did really want to get Taco John's breakfast because I've never had it, but it was past 10. And I, I knew McDonald's, They I think they still serve breakfast all day, maybe not. They're still serving it at 11, so I'm assuming. That cheese, that fake cheese. These are so good. Why are they so good? My goodness. My body's not used to this type of food, so after this meal, I'm just gonna feel awful regardless of how full I am but I love food so much. Tasting it, easily my favorite hobby in the world is eating. If you consider that a hobby. Last burrito, then we're getting into the caramel rolls. With the coffee, should go down smoothly. It is go time. I was gonna get a fork, but Nah, fingers are gonna get ruined anyway. Oh man, this has me excited. Mmm, <laughs> dense, moist, the best word in the world. Nowhere near grandma's caramel roll, but 
for being from the grocery store bakery i highly approve central market in detroit lakes i'm always scared with the first drink see how hot it is we're good we're good i'm gonna heat up a few of these in the microwave oh yeah just warm enough the butter and get that on there right away some of it anyway i don't typically have butter on hand because i don't use it but this is perfect for it okay my battery died for a little bit but i think we're good i got it plugged in and recording at the same time i didn't think that was possible but oh that butter it's going ooey gooey These are way more soft than I thought. Oh my gosh. This was the right choice. I'm gonna say right now that the winner of this meal is the karma rolls by far. Cheers to you guys, final bite. I'll see you guys at the next meal. So it wasn't a planned part of my cheat day, but went out for a few beers and three wings and two small slices of pizza. So nothing significant there, um, but that's just not something, I'm not gonna say no to that just so I can make a cheat day video. So I just wanted to let you guys know, I had a couple small slices of pizza, some wings, and we'll see what's in store for the final meal of the day. So my day did not just consist of cheat day food. I got a leg workout in this morning, heavy squats, and then I just felt like running after having a few beers, some pizza, McDonald's, all that. And it's just a, that's a mindset thing where the never off track mindset, which I swear by, and it's what I've been living by for the last five years, is that one bad, bad decision does not have to impact, negatively impact the next. There's always, you're always in control of that next decision. So even though I had all that stuff that doesn't necessarily support my health and fitness, I went for a run and because I, I know it's going to make me feel good i value it and i could still see progress while enjoying those unhealthy things i'm just very thankful for how the past five years have gone and the amount i've learned the never off track mindset has contributed a ton to that so i just encourage you guys to know that your next decision can be a good one for your health and fitness. Live by the never off track mindset and you'll feel good for a very long time. I promise you that, but let's go get some more food. Why not, right? Obviously I ran, so that kind of helped me digest a little bit. So let's go feast. Lying on our back saying counting the stars where the cool grass grows, grows. Target acquired. We have the last savory food of the day. I was really feeling some fried chicken, get some protein in. So I'm guaranteed teeing I hit my protein goal for the day. What we got, we kept it simple. I bet you could guess what this is. We got the spicy chicken sandwich and a famous bowl. Yeah, you guessed it right. So sticking with some reliable things. Uh, I almost wanted a burger, but I was like, let's do fried chicken. Let's do fried chicken. Let's do the sandwich before the chicken gets soggy. Of course, the chicken's gonna get soggy in the bowl, but cheers to you guys. Here's to another cheat day. The pickles, spicy mayo. Oh, you can't beat a good fried chicken sandwich. Especially when it's crisp. Wow. I feel like this chicken was sitting there a while since it's kind of dry, but still dang good. It wasn't soggy, so that was super important.
They didn't even give me napkins or a spoon, so I'm really glad I went inside and I put the spoon in the bag before checking. <laughs> We're good. Who needs napkins anyway? If a 10,000 calorie challenge is something you guys would be interested in watching, let me know. I'll gladly do it, because that means I get to eat. That's a beautiful sight. Just a few more bites, and then we'll have dessert. Boom! Just like that. What we have here is a strawberries and cream half pound cookie from Real Good Cookies based out of Grand Forks, North Dakota. So sticking to the, the local companies. Um, Midwest, let's go. Cheers all the way. Uh, real good cookies, let's see what this one's about. I'm a sucker for strawberry type of desserts. Strawberry shake's the best shake. I love the strawberry cheesecake ice cream from Ben & Jerry's. Strawberries and cream cookie. This is really dang good. But I think monster cookies are still superior to everything. Mmm. Like it's so much softer than it looks. I guess it does look kind of soft. When I have the camera going, I'm eating really fast. Because I don't want to have to deal with trimming down the video that much. So I will finish this. I promise you guys that. But before I do that, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'm planning on many more videos to come in the future here. I just need to get back in the routine of things. I've fallen into a funk. A big funk where I just feel like I don't know almost who I am or what to post. And that's okay. Just got to learn from it and just post what makes me happy and that's why I made this video I love food I love helping people understand that they don't need to restrict everything in life I'm excited to get back into kind of a routine and rhythm and finding um, more happiness within making content for you guys so thanks for tuning in you guys cheers remember you're never off track <music>